It's just not the economics. People matter. We are first of all, we have to fight with against this uh, political order, economic order. The government is subcontracting everything to, to companies or contractors. The way it's going, it's against the workforce. We think this, the workforce and what we call working people, uh, they are here to be formed as a class, but as a working people have an alliance today. You can find today in all protest movement against project, women are the leadership. So, in this darkness, there's scope for a new right. It's also an opportunity to come together. This is our great mission today, is to guarantee for these women land, territory and moradia. One né? Né? great banner of fight today of the movement também é a reforma agrária, né, a terra, porque nós sabemos que sem a terra nós não conseguimos ter casa, nós não temos ter, nós não conseguimos ter uma renda mensal, nós não temos o babassu garantido, né, nós não vamos ter também água. Agora, quando você entra é, no âmbito das mulheres, provavelmente a política de salário mínimo ela teve um efeito, porque você tem uma, uma quantidade maior de mulheres no, na base da pirâmide recebendo o salário mínimo, portanto você leva o salário mínimo se elevou também mais a renda das mulheres do que a dos homens, mas aí já o impacto é, é menor. A, a força de trabalho feminina no Brasil ela já é mais qualificada que a força de trabalho masculina, e, mas ela, de qualquer maneira, apesar de mais qualificada do ponto de vista de, da educação, não é? a, as mulheres estão nas faixas de renda mais baixas. Não é? Então, talvez por isso a, a desigualdade de renda entre homens e mulheres tenha até <coughs> diminuído mais nesse período, porque... Uh, so, the agriculture production declined relatively, and there is no way they can expand this um, basket. Uh, second, the uh, peasants' uh, income uh, remained stagnated or even declined as compared to the urban workers. The domestic consumption had declined uh, during those days because the villagers were not able to really consume as is expected uh, because the incomes are relatively low. Uh, so this has become a key problem for China to address uh, on uh, increasing the income levels of the peasants. Uh, but that cannot be done without the state intervention. There is also a move towards the uh, sustainable development aspects. So to that extent I think it is positive and progressive, especially uh, as it touches uh, millions of people, hundreds of millions of people on these aspects. Well, I think Russia also has had, uh, uh, in between it had a huge unemployment problem compared to the Soviet period where it might have been hidden and underemployment, but people were employed. Uh, when privatization took place and uh, this competition and entry of Western goods and entry of Chinese goods, obviously a lot of Russian industry closed down. But their uh, employment is there in their defense industry, oil industry, and small scale industry, etc., is picking up. There, there's a big trade with many, um, many countries. Uh, uh, so, of course, they have uh, unemployment issues and um, uh, uh, unevenness in, in the regions uh, where there is that hidden uh, employment, but uh, they, they also have a shortage of labor. So they need to link up with the other BRICs, uh, really. Uh, and Russia is one of the countries which is very keen on BRICs because they're very critical of uh, the other international organizations to an extent to which um, the other BRICs are not.